Okay, on to some consumer news. It sure looks suspicious. A letter in the mail saying that you have $25 coming to you and then asks you for personal information. Now, but seven on your side's Michael Finney's been asking, getting a lot of questions about this, and he's here now to explain mm -hmm. what's all, all yeah. about. Yeah, it seems a bit like the Nigerian letter scam right. that yeah. we've been right. talking about right. for 30 years. Uh, because of some mysterious reason, you are owed money. But rather than being offered $25 million, you're offered something like 25 bucks. And like a lot of come-ons, the more you read into it, the more money you could have coming. Now, I've been asked a lot of questions. The main one, is this legit? Here's the letter. It sure looks official. It comes from the U.S. District Court Settlement Administrator, Philadelphia, PA. Well, it sounds like they're giving money away. <laughs> that, I mean, that's what it looks like to me. It looks like they're giving you money back on fees that were charged to you on your credit card. I don't think I should have to pay fees for using my card. I mean, I'm already kind of not down with that anyway. Does it look legit? Sure. Yeah, it looks legit, but uh, I'm always skeptical of anything related to class actions. This looks a lot like a scammy uh, request for personal information, but in fact it's a settlement that you as a consumer are entitled to if you spent money with a credit card or a debit card abroad between 1996 and 2006. Joe Rideout is with Consumer Action. He says consumers have money coming because the big credit card companies were not upfront with consumers about the cost of paying in dollars for an item bought in another currency. It was very deceptive for years because credit card companies for a long time were not adding this currency conversion fee as a separate line item. Here's how it worked. An item charged in London, 100 pounds. Let's say the exchange rate at the time made the cost in U.S. dollars 150. But when the credit card bill comes in, it would read $154.50. $4.50 of that charge, a 3% currency conversion fee. Since most consumers don't bother checking currency conversions, the add-on fee often went unnoticed and unchallenged. So most cardholders had no idea that this junk fee was being added. The fee represented no additional cost to the banks, but it was being added when you used your credit card or debit card abroad. So there was a lawsuit and a settlement, and that's where Al Analek comes in. One of the nation's premier travel attorneys, he's been looking into the settlement for seven on your side. The credit card companies not only fixed the price of the transaction fee, they upped their base rate before they gave you the fee, and they got caught. And now consumers get at least some of that money back. All who get this letter have two options. The first requires little travel and all but no effort. Take $25. That's all you have to do. Say, hi, I'm Al Analik. Uh, would you send me $25? If you've traveled overseas extensively, Analik says you could have some real money coming. And you don't have to put forth a lot of effort. Family. Here he and gives an example. I estimate three weeks, decent hotels, Decent amount of purchases, decent food is X dollars a day. That's what I want my money back. That's all you have to do. Now, Al says you don't even have to have left the country, just bought something overseas. I want you to think about all of your eBay purchases. Right. Now, we have links to more information at abc7news.com. Just click on 7 on your side. There's some real money out there. Sure. And not too much work to get it. No, very little work, really. Thank yeah. you, Michael, very much.